Hey friends, Chris here again. Today I want to talk about Rust. I just started learning this language and I think it's a pretty neat language actually. It's a very bare metal language, kind of like C++. Uh, it's got a really great ecosystem though. But when I'm learning a language, the very first thing I need to do is I have to figure out how to debug the thing. If I can't run it in a debugger, I have a really hard time understanding how it flows. So I'm going to show you today how to debug Rust using Visual Studio Code. First of all, you need to get Rust installed. I'm on a Linux machine. I ran this uh, curl script. Uh, that's at rustlang.org slash tool slash install. I also uh, ran this for Mac OS and it worked just fine. So I've already run this. Uh, the first time I ran it, you might even need to close your terminal and restart it again because Cargo gets added to your path. But Cargo is Rust's build manager. Essentially, it's a build tool. It's a, it's a build and dependency manager, kind of like uh, Maven would be for Java. What I'll do is I will run Cargo new Rust hello to create a new project. If I go into that directory, you'll notice I've got a bunch of files in here. I'll open up Visual Studio Code. Here's the Rust file that was generated. Uh, just a quick little tour. If I look at cargo.toml, this is the uh, the dependency management section essentially. Like uh, I could, if I had other libraries I depended on, I guess I'd add them in here. I'm just going to add a little bit more to this. The reason I added a for loop is because I basically want to be able to see the value of x in a debugger. Um, right now, I can't put a breakpoint on line 4. That's a little bit of a problem for me. So, first of all, I need to install some extensions, obviously. If I pop over to the extensions, type Rust. Okay, so obviously we're going to install this Rust extension. Alright, so that's installed. But that's not enough to do the debugging. You notice I still don't have any options for debugging. So the next one is a little non-obvious. Search for code LLDB. It's this one with a dragon. You notice it's a it's a native debugger based on LLDB. I'm going to install it. I guess Rust installs to a, like an intermediary language called LLVM, and then it becomes native code. And this can be used to debug native code compiled against LLVM, but it's a little bit non-obvious if you're trying to set up Rust debugging. I go back over to my main script here, and now finally I have the option to put in breakpoints. Um, but I won't be able to run it just yet. What I need to do first, obviously I need to build it. So if I go to terminal and say run build task, it'll give me an option to use this cargo build for Rust Hello. So really this is just running cargo build in my directory. I'm going to run it from, from here. Okay, So you notice that it ran Rust Hello. And now there's a target directory, and I've got a debug and a release. So you see that Rust hello right there? So I can run it right from the command line, but I want to debug it, of course. So obviously, like in, in Visual Studio Code, we just go to run start debugging. But it's going to say, I can't start debugging because I have no launch configuration. That's fine. But then it says, but I see a cargo.toml file. Do you want me to set up a launch config? Yeah, that would be great. So I've got a launch config there. And now if I do a run start debugging. All right. So I've hit my breakpoint. You notice x is 0. I'll just make it go. x is 1. x is 2. So it is working. So there's very quick debugging uh, for Rust using Visual Studio Code. Uh, one thing that I noticed uh, when I've done, I've done this a few times, obviously, before I recorded it. Um, the first time I installed the Rust extension, after I clicked on my main.rs file, it gave me a little prompt saying, do you want to install some extra Rust stuff? I said yes. So you might get that prompt. You probably should say yes as well. But really, the key thing is to install that Rust extension, install code LLDB, and when it prompts you to create a launch config for your cargo toml file, just say, yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, and it will generate a launch file that knows to use LLDB. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that's helpful, and I hope to continue my journey with Rust. Thanks for all your views, and I'll see you next time.